Hey, my name's Austin, and like a lot of people my age, I've probably spent a bit too much time on my phone. So, at the start of this year, I decided I actually needed to commit to a hobby. And only one option stood out to me. Dance. A hobby that brought together all of my interests. Music, fashion, creativity, that was also healthy, and most importantly, was social, with plenty of opportunities to be part of something bigger. What you're seeing right now is footage from the beginner showcase that I was in earlier this year. What you're about to hear is the sound of my friends yelling at the top of their lungs. After that showcase, I realized that I wanted to go all in on dance. And so the next thing on the horizon was the end of year open showcase. But to get in, I'd need to get past the auditions first. And opens is basically the hardest level. For reference, I think my skill level's right about here. Why try then, you might ask. To that I say, why not? Okay, are you ready? Yes. Hey, how do you feel about auditions? Um, um, just going in, trying to have a good time, because I don't really give a fuck. So excited! Actually, I felt okay. I felt okay. I don't like that angle. Wait, why sideways? Because I'm doing, it's like YouTube. Uh, <laughs> um, I did an audition. Uh -oh. And so it began, an epic journey across 70 days. I made it into the open team, and then joined a beginner team. Because, well, if you're knee deep, you might as well go for a swim. The open team was led by Simon and Ivy, also known as Team Baby Pink, because it's Ivy's favorite color. Personally, my vote was for Team Snivy, because, well, Simon and Ivy. Yet, never mind. And then there was the beginner team, led by the famous Mr. Jeffrey Hu. You might have seen him on your TikTok or your reels. Our team name was the Dishwashers, hinging on a single lyric from a T-Pain song, and because we came here to clean out the competition. And that was the next 11 weeks of my life, Mondays and Tuesdays. There were good times. I learned the coolest routines and met some amazing people. There were hard times too, but there's nothing that couldn't be overcome with heaps of practice. And just making the most of things. It's the last day of rehearsals, and I am excited, tired, terrified, exhausted, and like a kajillion other things. Let's see what the others think. I don't know what to say. Can I say Junko? I feel his aura in me, so I'm gonna say Junko. Thank you. <laughs> Very out oh, stressful, stressful. <laughs> when I look so far, I'm excited. excited. <laughs> Stressed. <laughs> Look at all my fans. <laughs> nervous, but excited, but mostly nervous. It's okay. Brave.
okay. It's rehearsals right now. And I'm kind of tired already. I want to take a nap. Same. God, we're on the big screen. They're gonna see every mistake that I make on the big screen. Rehearsing on a new stage was about as chaotic as you could imagine. We were all anxious about getting it right. But really, at this point, I just had to trust myself, my team, and the months of practice we put in. Before the final run, we received handwritten letters from our teachers. <laughs> we had a surprise for them as well. And with that, there was only one thing left to do. Oh, I'm so ready. <laughs> We're so ready. It's rehearsal time. Yeah! Let's go! So it turned out that we were actually not ready. After a messy rehearsal, we spent pretty much the rest of the day trying to look in sync. But hey, a beginner team is about having fun. We're 50 minutes out from the showcase and we're going to bring it out and clean it up. Clean them up. Hey, fun fact. I actually can't watch myself dance. And you might find that a bit ironic, given I just made a whole vlog about me dancing. But I do it for the people. And by the people, I mean my friends who all came to see me leapfrog over someone. And as shy as I was about it, they loved it. And Jeff loved it. And I think my team loved that we managed to pull it off in the end. But you know what I loved? showcase season was a wild ride, full of ups and downs, understatement of the year. 
In hindsight, I probably bit off more than I could chew by doing two at the same time, but I don't regret it. I learned from teachers that I admired, made some new friends, and not a lot of people get to say that they performed at Olympic Park. When you're on stage in front of a thousand people, the stage fright and the nervousness all just dissipate and give way to why you even did it in the first place, which is to have fun. For the longest time, I've always wanted to dance, and for the longest time, I'd always talk myself out of it. But I'm kind of just glad that I got out of my own way this year and just went for it. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making this and going through this showcase journey. And if you take anything away from it, I hope you're inspired to do the things that let you see more of this and less of...